Hello Crossroads Church and anyone else who may be listening to this. My name is Keegan, coming to you with the daily devotion for Saturday. And Crossroads is continuing its current current, current sermon series called uh, We Believe, where we'll be walking through the foundations of the Christian faith and what we believe as a church body, walking through the book of Romans. And this past Sunday, Pastor Jason gave the message on foolish hearts or understanding the importance of truth, which is God's word, and understanding that, especially in today's day and age, and even back in Romans, people were um, not grounded in the truth, that uh, they thought truth is relative, and what may be true for someone else may not be true for yourself. But we understand as Christians that there is absolute truth, and that that's God's word, and that it's there uh, to bring life to us, and also at times it's going to be challenging and convicting, but we have to understand that, knowing to come into the presence of a holy God, that there's certain things um, that are going to be tough for us to work out our salvation through fear and trembling. So the scripture comes from Romans chapter 1, verses 21 through 25, and it says, For all they, they, they knew God, they neither glorified him as God, nor gave thanks to him. But their thinking became futile, and their foolish hearts were darkened. Although they claimed to be wise, they became fools and exchanged the glory of the immortal God for images made to look like mortal man and birds and animals and reptiles. Therefore God gave them over in the sinful desires of their hearts to sexual impurity for the degrading of their bodies with one another. They exchanged the truth of God for a lie and worshiped and served created things rather than the creator who is forever praised. Amen. So what we see here is idolatry Really, idolatry is, it says in the last verse that people were worshiping creative, created things instead of the creator. And the question for this devotion today is, are you living to please yourself? Or are you living to please others? Or are you living to please God? Because idolatry happens whenever we seek satisfaction outside the will of God. Whenever we start to not ground ourselves in the word of God, of the truth and scripture and fill us up with his word, his love letter to us, we start to stray away from his will. And we start to seek satisfaction of things outside of his will. So again, idolatry happens whenever we seek satisfaction outside the will of God. You see, when we're acting in the will of God, we have so much to be thankful for. When we're acting in the will of God, we can grow in steadfastness and contentment and maturity in Christ. When we're acting in the will of God, we're being blessed and filled up so that we can continue to live our lives with open hands. Just like it says in Psalm 23, our cup will overflow. And when we're acting in the will of God, we have a peace, a peace that surpasses all understanding that even if God's will brings us trial and tribulations and pain and suffering, we still have that peace. A peace where, where when people were being martyred to death, people like Stephen, they were praising God because they understood that this was God's will for them and that they were being called home. That peace that comes with being inside the will of God and understanding that when we're acting in the will of God, it's so much safer than anywhere else, even if that will of God is in a very dangerous place or dangerous circumstance. You see, when we're acting to please ourselves or please others, when we're not acting to please God, instead of being blessed and filled up so that we can continue to live our lives with open hands and our cups overflowing, we're unfulfilled and unsatisfied. We're continuing to chase or search after the next high of life or basically wanting more and more that whatever we have isn't enough. Instead of growing in steadfastness and contentment and maturity in Christ, we're simply wasting away in our sins and drawing ourselves further and further away from God's grace. When we're living to please ourselves or please others instead of pleasing God, instead of 
having a peace that surpasses all understanding, we're filled with anxiety and worry in life. So I wanna challenge us today is to stay grounded in the truth, stay grounded in God's word, his love letter to us. And instead of choosing to please ourselves or others, do our best to choose to please God. What we need to do is to simply choose Jesus. <laughs> He's the perfect balance of truth and grace. Sometimes today we can, some people are so left-sided, if you will, in all grace, 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 um, that it's, oh, God loves you no matter how you're living. He loves you no matter what. And then sometimes we can get too right-sided and people are so truth, they become Bible thumpers and very legalistic and almost religious Pharisees. But we need to understand that Jesus is both. He's the perfect balance between truth and grace. And to live in that will and to become more like him each and every day. Choosing Jesus and not a foolish heart. So God bless and have a great weekend.